So Bionics was a really large uh, multi-center, multinational randomized clinical trial that was comparing Elunir versus uh, what is uh, state-of-art uh, new generation drug lutein stent, which is a resolute stent. Uh, the point of the study, and I think it was quite brave from the company, is to start with a pre mark pre-FDA approval study being not in a selected population. In this case, they, uh, they decided to include uh, a more calmer, almost all calmer population where included uh, really complex uh, lesion, complex bifurcation, CTO, left main. And uh, this is quite unique because usually when you do a pre mark study or pre-FDA study, uh, clearly you are going to select the patient. And this was not the case. So it, I have to compliment to the company to be so brave. Most probably this was due to the fact that they were really confident with their product, having a really long history in the stent world. And this give also to the investigator a lot of confidence because when a company approach you to do a pre-FDA uh, approval, a pre-CMARC study and go more camera or camera, it means that they are really sure about the quality of, uh, of the product. So it was 1,919 patients that were entered into the study, randomized, as I said, to Elunir versus Resolute. The primary endpoint was target lesion failure. Uh, that was encountered. This is, uh, as always, is done uh, in uh, contemporary DS and non-inferiority study. The non-inferiority was met. There was exactly the same number of target lesion failure, 5.4% in both groups. Uh, regarding then uh, uh, safety and points, uh, stent thrombosis was uh, low. Low considering that we are dealing with complex patient, complex anatomy and complex lesion. So there was no difference in uh, stent thrombosis. We are talking about definite and probable between the two groups. And it was 0.4% in Elonir versus 0.8%. And this is important, there were not uh, late stent thrombosis reported for the Elonir. So there was a good performance of the stent uh, at one year and there was also a good uh, safety profile uh, of the stent at one year that clearly is uh, really encouraging. There was uh, a pre-specified uh, subgroup analysis uh, with angiofollow-up that was presented uh, at the PCR 2017 and it demonstrated also that uh, at the 10 month angiographic follow up, the late loss was only 0.22. It was non inferior to the late loss of Resolute, and uh, clearly having uh, such a low late loss was uh, really encouraging for uh, performance profile but also for safety profile. It was also performed uh, follow up uh, IVUS evaluation that demonstrated that the no intima hyperplasia was quite low and was non-inferior with uh, Elunir as compared with the Resolute. The major reason clearly I think is the engineering that is uh, behind the product. Uh, it's a company that worked uh, for so many years in this field, so it's very expertise in uh, designing coronary stent. This is a latest generation, it's a thin cobaltum chrome platform using uh, a Limus uh, family analog. Uh, so clearly when you combine uh, a good uh, uh, platform with the cobaltum thin strut stent with a good uh, antiproliferative drug as it was used in the study, we, you are expecting to have uh, comparable result, at least non-inferior, which is uh, the state of art of the major performer DS that are in the market today. I have to say that we really use uh, uh, Elunir in uh, complex lesion subset. Uh, I mean, if I remember around the 50 patients we enrolled between uh, the two studies, there were really some uh, maybe extreme case. And I remember personally some case that I perform where most for sure first generation drug eluting stent uh, of other company, I'm sure would not perform so well. So I could really uh, touch the very good deliverability of this device, and this is through the balloon tip, uh, most probably, in really tortuous vessel 
where most probably when you do uh, pre mark study, you are not going to do. So the translation of this technology in our real world practice was, uh, was met because we really included very complex lesion anatomy and the deliverability was not a problem at all from this kind of device. Yeah, it was an intriguing concept that was introduced by, uh, by the company and their uh, engineer. The, the concept is that uh, uh, the elastomeric properties give the capacity to the polymer itself uh, to be less damaged during stent expansion. This was uh, shown in some in vitro studies that were conducted, uh, showing that there was less damage to the polymer coating of the elunir as compared to the others. But I think that it has to be translated into clinical results and it has to be translated with the long-term clinical follow-up and large patient data set.